Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well in this um, crazy messed up time we're living in at the moment. I just wanted to show you a little gem of a game for the Atari 2600, which is Frostbite. One of my favourite titles by Activision. One of my favourite titles on the 2600 to be honest. And basically, I haven't got the instructions for this game, so I don't know the name of this little fella here who's jumping around but basically you play the part of this little guy and the idea of the game is to jump on these icebergs which turn them from white into light blue and every time you jump on one it builds another bit of your igloo which is in the top right hand corner of the screen here and then you've got to jump in there once it's built to get out of the cold because on the top left of the screen as you can see you've got your temperature counting down there and if it gets too cold and you're outside your igloo you, you just totally freeze to death and also there are plenty of bad guys which are trying to ruin your day they fly about on the on well in and above the river as you're floating past on your icebergs and they grab you and pull you into the depths into the depths below, into Davy Jones's locker. And also there's those little green fish which I was collecting, which are good because they give you more points, which if you get enough points, you actually get an extra life, which is a good thing on this game, as you're gonna probably need a lot of lives as it gets starts to get harder later on. There's some crabs, look, and some seagulls. Ooh! And you can jump slightly diagonally across to get to another iceberg like that but you can't jump straight left or right you have to be going up or down so I couldn't jump to the next iceberg on the right of me there I'd have to go up or down to get to it like that let's just get a couple of these fish and the nasty crabs and the nasty seagulls there I think altogether there's crabs seagulls and like these oyster oyster like clam type things which drag you in and now of course look whoop, now you've got a bear patrolling the shores and if the bear catches you he's gonna drag you off to eat you off the sides of the screen I'm afraid and also I haven't mentioned that you can change the direction of the icebergs you're on by pressing button like that but if you do that Ooh, I jumped down there. If you do that, it takes a block away from your igloo, which is, oh, not a good thing. Accidentally pressed up there and straight into the water. And the icebergs also start sort of moving, start sort of cracking in the middle, which also isn't a very good thing. Get into your igloo look. Nice and warm. Top of the screen there, top left you've got your score, underneath that your temperature and then your lives. Just on the right of your temperature there. Now, just change direction, which, as you can see, took a took a um, layer off my igloo. Now you've got the old dark level here for the ambience. <laughs> there you go, your fire glowing nicely there, waiting to be oh, waiting for me to jump in the warm. And also, if you change direction once your igloo's built it doesn't take any off your igloo that time once it's built you can change direction all you want and it won't take any blocks away the old green fish gotta get them Ooh. And it's very easy to just sort of jump into nothingness Ooh. <laughs> when you're trying to jump quickly. Ah, oh, like that. <laughs> and of course, once the bad guys grab you, there's no escaping them. They sort of grab hold of you. You can't sort of 
get away from their grip once they've touched you, you're basically a goner. So let's see what score I can reach now, see how well I can do, see how far I can get. Grab some fish. Oh, I got to change that direction, I nearly fell in. Change again. Oh, not a good thing to keep changing direction, but you don't want to run out of time and freeze to death out here, but also you don't want to just get pushed off the edge of the screen or grabbed by a bad guy. So sometimes it is a little bit necessary just to change that direction. Oh, straight into the water. Three lives we got left, three guys, guys. But I should get I think you'll get more points also for the amount of time you've got the remaining once you jump in. Get more points, so here you go, still three lives on the end of no one. Oh I didn't mean I didn't mean to press down then, I meant to press left. You know what the Atari joysticks are like. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I should have looked before I let that time, guys, shouldn't I? This is, oh! <laughs> I'm not doing too well now, am I? I started off pretty well, but it does get harder as you go along. That's my excuse, anyway. And I'm sticking by it. Let's just change direction there, jump in. Oh, I thought I could get in before the bear grabbed me. I don't know if he actually eats you or if you've got to run off into the cold and basically freeze to death off in the um, cold somewhere because he chase you, chases you away from your igloo. Oh, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I missed the icebergs. They move, they crack in the middle and I jump straight in the crack. <laughs> And there it is, guys. Frostbite for the Atari 2600 by Activision. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you again in the next one, guys. So long.